All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level, yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. While you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, and gentlemen, he is This Bruce is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. If you just fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, Merciless. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting. And it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Now he's got the boy tie plot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Let's go. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Punch to the body is blocked. 
And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Lee Zirkland now towards the left. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Punch over the top. Just out of range with that right hook. Unable to land with that punch. So there it is, taller fighter landing in need of the body. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Stay strong. We're still in this fight. Let's go. Come on. Just out of range with that strike. It's such a fast leg kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his legs. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. That was snuck in. Nice strike. attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just out of range with that kick attempt. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Final seconds of round one. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Round two next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter. Chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, Sean. Yeah. Sometimes we got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. What a punch. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Hands going. 
Just a slip there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice head kick. Nice job by him to get the lead at the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. He's got the turtle in that kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, yeah. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Straight right hand, no good. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. It's okay. Goes back to that left kick once again. Spinning back fist is there. That shot is blocked by Luke. Oh. oh, straight right. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Nice head kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Able to check the high kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Way to hide that leg kick. Sneaky head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. He blocks the home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, these man. You got to check these kicks, or you're going to be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Just out of range with that right hand. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. 
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the street. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Hands higher, hands higher. Watch the shot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Give me more. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Real nice body kick lands. Back and forth we go. Head kick lands. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Put him up. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fighting. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Got clipped with the right hand. Body kick now by Lee. Nice, good. Big kick lands. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Seconds to go now. Let's go, let's go. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice loop and punch. Final seconds of round three. 
over and over, he landed with a big body kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rates, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Yeah. Just missing on the high kick there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. He's going after the head. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Kick lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, nice high kick. Nice. Just over three minutes to go now. That's a crippling shot there. An uppercut landed. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Wow, huge head kick. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Man, look at him load up on that leg. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Under two minutes to go in the round. Straight punch lands. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Right under the elbow. Leg kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. One minute. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice straight punch. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful body kick. Man, 
look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Yes. Big body kick land. Knee strike coming in his block. Ten seconds to go. Oh, big punch land. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got cut on his eyebrow in that round. This bears watching moving forward. Not the worst location for it necessarily, but the cut man's got to get in there and prevent that cut from bleeding and trickling down into the eye. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. And he landed the right hand there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Beautiful strike. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. There's no kill on that leg kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big leg kick land. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot land. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore. Right. Because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, 
gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Less than a minute now to go in the round. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Visibly limping here. Seconds of the fight. All right, so he leads with the right hand there, and it was effective for him. Most times he's behind the jab, but sometimes you gotta just mix it up. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 50-45, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to lead the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you gotta feel good about that. You gotta feel good about dominating every aspect of the fight and getting the victory. You should be very proud of it.